Good morning, Kachankies. Yeah, very good morning, man. So today we're gonna see the moth. Uh, you know, they say BMW oil, uh, especially gearbox oil and uh, transmission oil. Uh, well, transmission, gearbox oil, same thing, uh, duff oil as well, uh, is long life. So what we're doing today is we're taking out the oil on a BMW 135 N54 and we're going to see the condition of the oil. Um, we're using the BMW brand. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, this is what we're using. Eh? This is what we're using. So anyway, we're using this oil and we're going to see the condition of the gearbox oil and seeing if it is actually long life. So let's wait. The guys are busy uh, taking out the gearbox at the moment. And yeah, we'll take it from there to see what's, uh, what's going on. Uh, see you later. Gear selector seal. Yeah. So the gear selector seal is leaking as well. Mm. Okay. And this is where we have play. Yeah. Am I right? Mm. That's where we but, have. But if we can put it great, it will never make noise. It's supposed to be like that, but it won't make noise. Okay. So the gearbox is almost out. Yeah, I left with one bolt. So as you can see, the gearbox is out. We've taken the gearbox out of the 135, and we've found a few problems on the gearbox. One is the selector seal here on the top, which is probably need replacing, as well as on the actual gear shifting lever. We're going to be replacing the bushing. We've drained the oil out of the gearbox. And now all we're waiting for is the new oil to be Try by two. Tell you now. So, we, so we're just gonna take out the oil. Yeah, let's have a look and see whether it's lifetime oil or not. Take the whole of it. Yeah. Let's have a look and see. But it was supposed to leak. There's let's no enough oil, eh? Yeah, there wasn't even enough oil in this gearbox. Oil still looks okay, what do you think? Mm. But let's see how many liters are Yeah, let's see how many liters. Seems like it cannot even make a liter. Yeah, it doesn't even look like there's a liter of oil in here. Tilt it more. Yeah, there's it coming out. It's a bit dirty, mm. but it's not as bad as it is. However, what we did find was that this gearbox is actually a second-hand gearbox because there's some markings on there from the from the scrapyard itself. So we don't know whether this is the true mileage on the gearbox as matching to the cluster itself. Mm. So let's see. Poor Michael. You think we can get more? Hmm. Oil that came out from there. It's pretty clean, but yeah, it's definitely not lifetime oil. Hmm. 